this is the boat that we're going out on today and uh, it's captained by Neil who very kindly has invited me but we're down in Sovereign Harbour on a beautiful beautiful day so we're now leaving the harbour and uh, it's like being in the south of France the weather is just extraordinary it's going to be one of those days where the sea is all sort of glassy and um, calm and years ago I was uh, out on a day like this with um, a charter boat and one of the chaps was complaining about how hot it was and decided he would go for an impromptu swim. What he didn't realise was that the tide was running at about six knots and uh, he was washed with the tide well away from us and then we had the fun and games of trying to pick him up. So we got, as I mentioned earlier on, Neil and this is his um, boat and it's a proper fishing boat. It uh, is designed specifically for fishing. One of my subscribers was asking me about um, getting a boat and was there anything that he really needed to be aware of? Well, the list is legion of all the things that you need, but probably the principal and most important thing before you even start is the safety equipment. So life jackets, um, flotation device of some sort, and flares for emergency or any problems. And now um, going into the lock, always exciting and uh, good to be here early. Secret of coming into a lock is when you're on a boat is anyone who's on it is do not move about otherwise it makes for uh, difficult mooring up against the uh, side of the lock. We've just seen him go round the side of the boat. There, oh, there he was. They're buggers, aren't they? Right. How cool is that? Now, if there are porpoises here. No, if there are porpoises or dolphins, because they're, they're blowing when they're coming up. Oh, ah, well, would they be dolphins? No, because no. porpoises do the, the same. They're okay. part of the same family. Come on, you're on camera. Oh, there he goes. Ha! That's extraordinary. On an English beach, on a beautiful, beautiful summer's day. But enough of the wittering, let's go and do fishing stuff. Because <laughs> this man has fishing Tourette's. <laughs> So at the moment we are off Beachy Head and we're just on a drift. A um, load of other boats around here. A few bass on the boat. I 
and we could be in uh, Mexico. It's just extraordinary. And then seeing those uh, little porpoises zinging around out there sort of made it. Now, the captain has not let us down. Look at that. That is a stormer of a fish. <laughs> I cannot tell you how excited I feel when I see fish like this. That is brilliant. And there is the smiling man who caught it. How cool is that? Well done, fellow. Now, I just caught this little chap, and it is a horse mackerel. And I don't know if you know, but if you hold them, they, the teeth at the back of their throat, they grind together and they make like a little raspy grunting noise. But this little fellow is going to go and swim for another day. Gone. So you can see a few other bass boats out here. They're, um, a lot of them are commercials. I do look an idiot with this hat on. I'm looking at my reflection in the screen. But don't care, don't want a burnt skull. You can see the lighthouse and we're just coming up to the start of the drift. Here's another one of these little spiky devils. Right, oops, I think we need to get you back in your little watery home, fellow, without getting spiked. You've got to be really careful with them. They've got really sharp gill plates and obviously the spiky bit at the back but he's going back so a few fish on board all sort of 40 41 39 centimeters mackerel horse mackerel we're going to do a few more drifts and then we're going to go and fish for something a little bigger And it is a joy to be out here. It makes you feel very alive. And all thanks to this man behind me. So we've arrived at Neil's secret mark. Like my granny, granny, get your words out, you stupid man. Like my granny's um, old soda bread recipe. A secret that will go to the grave with him. Um, we're fishing for Maybe toad, maybe conger, maybe rays, who knows. And this is the trace we're going to be using, which is a wire trace, which Neil gets off eBay. How many do you say you get? Five. Five. For how much? Eight pounds. Eight quid. You can't go wrong with that, can you? If you bought all the stuff and tried to make it, it would be more expensive. And it's really well put together, I have to say. Yeah. Professional trace. So this is the lucky trace. <laughs> we will see. So Neil's fishing a lovely juicy fresh mackerel and I'm fishing a sliver. And I've just had something tapping on here. Look at that. If that don't catch something, I don't know what will. <laughs> eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, this reel has just, just gone screaming off. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera. But I think we're going to lock into it. Forward. Forward. I think so. Well, something on there, but he, he's not doing what tote normally do, so... Yeah, I think yeah. it is, yeah. No, camera's on. We're there. Oh, yeah, yeah, now it's nodding, it's yeah. kicking around. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There it is, so we'll unhook it 
and get it back. What do you reckon, Neil? How heavy? 10 pounds? 10 pounds. Not bad. Does give a good old fight. Right, let's get you unhooked, get you back in your watery home. Thanks, Tope. So we've moved to another mark. Um, we had at the other fishing spot, tope, conger eel, dogfish, more dogfish, um, a whiting, and uh, it was absolutely ace. I've, I've caught more tope than I have in the last probably five years, just in that morning. So we've moved to another um, spot and Neil's putting down a magic taupe drug. He's got this gizmo that you um, fill up with bits of whatever, close it, goes down, donks the bottom, Give it a pull a couple of times, door opens, all the crap goes out, down close to the seabed, and pulls in the fish, is the theory. Is it going to work? I think so. You, you, are you a gambling so. man? Yeah, I think yeah? it'll work today. Okay. <laughs> I think it'll work yeah. today. It's... <laughs> so, we have set the trap, and now we're just waiting. Um, Neil's put down a load of rubby dubby, four rods out. We've had this one tapping away, but it looked a bit like dogfish bite. So uh, we're just gonna leave them. And we are hoping for taupe. I, I don't know if you can hear boys and girls out here, but my reel is doing that jaws click, click, click bit. And I'm just gonna check the sound because whatever's taking that, yep, sound is on. Whatever is taking that wants it now, if it's a conger eel, we're going to give him a little bit of time. Come on, you know you want it. Oh, I do. I want it. I think we're going to do the, the wind down and then the oh it would appear not oh. <laughs> after all that <laughs> what a bowler how bloody annoying should have let it go longer That was definitely something uh, of interest. Right. Oh, yeah, it's had a right old chomp on that. <laughs> Let it go back. That was a little bit of excitement. Yeah, lovely. Okay, I suspect that was a conga from the way it was behaving itself. Not one of those jaws moment. Well, you're uh, going to need a bigger boat. Yeah, something there. Uh, spider crab. A good old spider crab. Look at that. Bastards. Look at that. Bastards. That's what that yeah. pulling is, isn't it? Yeah. That... You wouldn't have thought that, though, would you, Paul? Huh? 
That's a serious old spider it crab. Is, isn't it? Look yeah. at that. <laughs> the bane of our lives and the bane of many a beach fisherman. Well, that was a bit exciting just yeah. for a moment. Look what it's done. Neil's just had something ragging on his uh, bait, but it doesn't seem to be putting up much of a struggle, although there's something on there. Oh yeah, that's a serious fish. So how are we doing here? You think you're okay there? Yep, we're all right. Thought you might just want to photograph it in the water or something. Yeah, like I think that's what we'll do. You got a T-bar? Yeah, I have. You have, it's cool. Up the front there. Let's uh, get this. Oh, am I glad I've come out with this chap today? Now, isn't that a pretty picture? What do you reckon, weight? Uh, eight pounds. Eight pounds? Pound. Thereabouts. What a fine looking fish, strap conga. Brilliant. Right, Neil is doing it again. What is it? Is it another conga? There it is. Oh, right, keep our job. There's that many of them are down there, isn't it? He's had that bait. Has he? Yeah. Look at him spinning. Hey. <laughs> That's loads more where they come from. The jackpot, 50 quid. Whoa. And I bought my first beach reel with that money. And it, and it all kicked off from there. Yeah. The addiction started. Oh. Yeah, it, um, yeah. for me, I was 12 and I was going on holiday to Devon and there was a local hairdresser in our village that sold dinky cars and fishing gear as well as doing hairdressing as a bit of a sideline. Yeah. And I bought one of those like cheap Japanese everything in a packet, a rod, I suppose was about this long, with a float and a few other bits in there and some little yeah, itty bitty hooks yeah, yeah. and started fishing with that yeah, and um, yeah. that was like a couple of quid if that yeah I but used to I used to go in Woolworths and buy quite a bit of stuff as well they done freshwater gear in there didn't they you know so uh, yeah I used to buy bits and pieces from Woolworths um, well I have to say I um, I used to see old blokes like me on boats when I was young and I used to think, what a couple of bloody old duffers. We've now turned into them. <laughs> we are now those old duffers going, oh, do you remember? <laughs> we are waiting for that we need a bigger boat moment. Yeah, Paul, but Paul. That, that's boshing yeah. away, isn't it? Yeah. You're in charge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, are you sure that's wise? Uh, are you sure that's wise? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, we have a conga. Whoa. Got me in. And we have a small bull hus. Which is quite unusual, I have to say. Whoa. Gone. One bull hus gone. Pliers. I didn't know they could read. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. And it gives you a bit of grip. It gives you a bit of grip, then. Eh? A little bit of grip. Oh, it's gone right in the snood, look. <laughs> right in the top. That's it. One conga. Ta-da! There you go. Yeah. See you later, fellow. How quick does he go down? Right then. All a bit exciting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a little bit of excitement on this rod here. It started to go click, 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 click. 
Trrr, click, 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 click. And now it's stopped. What is that? I switch the camera on, it stops. Go. Be patient. Now, to all you fishing experts out there, is that the tide or is that a fish? What do I do? Do I grab it? I know I'm going to grab it and then I'm going to be disappointed because it could be a bit of weed, but I think I'm going to grab it. Oops. Come on, Rod. How are we doing? Do that up. Reel in a little bit of slack. Let's tighten that up. Keep reeling the slack in. Give it a big yank. Right, I've just had this beezer of the fish. Um, another tope, so we won't keep him out of the water or she out of the water too long and get him back in. But uh, put up a right old struggle. On to the next one. Right, take the woolly hat off. Now, we've got to that time of the day. What is it? It's half past five. We were up at 3.30. We've been fishing from about probably 20 past seven. Bit of a frenzy earlier on, and then for the last several hours, it's all gone a bit quiet. So uh, we're going to pack up, we're going to go home. But thanks for joining me on the boat adventure. It's been a cracker of the day. I think I've caught more fish today than I have in a whole year. So it's been brilliant. And um, thanks to all the new subscribers. I picked up a few more today. And thanks to the rest of you out there. Um, for all your lovely comments, watching, spending a bit of time talking to an old bloke doing something he really, really likes. What's going to be the next adventure? Mm, don't know really. How am I going to top this? Um, going to go out again next Friday, probably to Pevensey. Um, have to have a chat with Andy and Ross, see what they're up to. But thanks for watching. Look after yourselves and take care out there. Cheers. Sitting in the harbour and we're waiting to go through the lock, which is up ahead of us and lights are red at the moment. Hello, Captain Blackford, do you have any wise words for all my viewers out there? Not really. No? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, 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 how would you sum up the day? Oh, it's a cracking day. Lovely, yeah. lovely weather. Uh, sea was lovely, lovely, lovely sea. Uh, the best sea that I've seen for a couple of months. So well, that's well. cool. It was uh, great being out with you, chap. Yeah, thanks had a, very had much. Had a lovely time. Very nice company. Thank you. I'll, I'll um, show this little bit to my wife. I'll, I'll play it and play it. The very nice company bit when I get home tonight and go, see Helen, there are people who like me. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, fellow.